Oh, uh, so I'm getting back into the Beastie Boys, right? And their music is just as rowdy and raucous and awesome as it's always been. Just three Jewish guys who don't give a damn. See, that's what I'm talking about. Got two chicks in bed and they're twins. Double your pleasure, double your fun, am I right? Oh, oh, hey, oh, that's, that's not okay. Also, I'm pretty sure when a father sees his twin daughters having sex with a guy, I don't think envy is the emotion he's feeling. And if it is, that's kind of messed up in and of itself. Just checking out on my favorite daughters. Ah, Charlene, Marlene, but I wanted to have sex with her. But uh, anyway, back to less criminal aspirations. He wants to rock out just like legendary musicians. The girl is uh, oh. So, so when so when you said you wanted to be like Jimmy Page, his, his, his skills on the guitar were, were the side note to why you wanted to be like him. And you instead wished to emulate his penchant for kidnapping underage girls. Okay, I think we're done here. Wait, one more thing. I just wanted everyone to know this. The original title of the Beastie Boys debut album, License to Ill, was supposed to be, and I'm not kidding here, don't be a fat. Yeah, we were one dissenting voice in Def Jam Studios away from celebrating the 30th anniversary of one of the first classic rock rap hybrid albums entitled Don't Be a Fat. And I know we like to think of artists as untouchable gods who should not be interrupted or led astray from their original visions, but as a good example of what my show is basically about, sometimes we just need to tell our favorite entertainers, that was stupid, erase it and write something else.